unfortunately it's time to start off thinking about the preparation for the winter <laughs> I just want to protect my pipe um, that is running from the tempest to the shower and I'm just going to decorate it um, so I've got um, an excess of um, under under liner um, I need this so this is a wire scissors tape measure and I bought two of those they are artificial um, I uh, don't know how you call them. Anyway, plants. <laughs> There you go, all done. I'm not very arty when it comes to this kind of things, but it's better than the grey pipe. Another little project. So I got two fiberglass uh, planters, I think that's how you call them. And what I want to do is put them at the back of the pond uh, to be able to on one side put some artificial flowers or plants should I say and then another one I've got two exactly the same and the other one what I would like to do if I can is transform that to into a proper bog filter so with real plants but here underneath here maybe one or two water spill or to create like a waterfall that will go back then into the pond and I'm trying, my intention is to have the water coming through here from the moving bed and this hopefully would allow a full nitrogen cycle so the, mo the easy part being the uh, mechanical, the, taking the rubbish out and then taking care of the ammonia the moving bed helping for the nitrite and then this helping for the nitrate this is the paint that I'm using um, it's a cheap you know um, spray paint uh, I've never sprayed before <laughs> that's gonna be a funny one so here we go for two minutes I don't think I'm going to be a very good paint spray paint sprayer spray painter how do you say that? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be a good one it's very difficult <laughs> um, so I've got to do three coats and 24 hour um, delay you know between each coat so there you go I've got to lay it dry now and I do second coat tomorrow and then a third coat the following day if the weather allows so that's how it is now okay so it's all painted and on the sides and just on the top as well and what i'm going to be doing with that i bought a few things japanese things here and here i uh, bought some uh, black uh, duct tape as well so I'm going to try to put something a bit, you know, uh, a bit arty uh, and then put it at the back of the pond. It's 
So I don't know if you know, but a polycarbonated sheet has got two different sides. You've got a side with the label, and you've got a side with the see-through paper. Okay. The label, oops, the label side is the label that has got to face the sun. Did you know that? Well, I didn't either. <laughs> it's just written there. The label is side up. So mine is not going to be in the roof, but it's going to be exposed to the sun at the back. So the lay, that's why I didn't remove that completely. So another thing I've learned today, um, the label side is the label that faces the sun. So there you go. I'm going to install it now. Not bad. Nice. Hi hey again. So, uh, quick, just after work and before it rains. Part of the decoration type that I'm doing, this is also to prepare for the winter. Um, as you've seen, this one, which is already ready. I have put the um, polycarbonate sheet at the back so that is going to definitely going to stop the wind uh, from coming through and over there obviously I've already put just for now the polycarbonated sheet but I haven't finished the fountain for over there here on the side of the pond on the left side of the pond what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a polycarbonated sheet here all along Okay, all around here. But here, of course, I don't know if you can see. Oh, here, of course, I've got the um, the shower. Okay, so here, what I'm going to do is same thing: put a carbonated sheet, but with a door opening or a sliding door or something that I can take on and off, so I can have access to the so I can have access to to the shower, obviously, from this. But this side here will be blocked. No windshield. Here at all. Uh, also going to protect for any predators. So I have received the polycarbonate sheet. Um, I found the company online, and I will put the link into the description. Um, basically, the polycarbonate sheet was like thirty pound cheaper um, compared to eBay or B and Q or Wix. And I've just seen Dylan who taken a piece of foam and he's now chewing it you are naughty look at the state of you what have you done you dirty little thing no that's not for you anyway so i have received here my polycarbonate sheet okay they already had the tape on the outside but of course polycarbonate sheet it's not pretty to look at obviously so what I've got and you're probably going to call that tacky but I can't stand polycarbonate sheet I think it's ugly so what I've bought is some um, stickers yeah Japanese stickers so there you go so you've got all sorts here from you know the Japanese flag to some inscription god knows what that means but um yeah different things so it's not going to be coming as a block here they are like see-through i'm just going to glue them on there um and it will still be prettier than a normal polycarbonated sheet so i'm just going to glue them and then install the, the sheet on the on the pond this one is even better because it says on there you had two plastic sheets on it but it says, I don't know if you can read it, this side is UV and it says that all along so this side is going to be the outside of the pond and this side 
is where I'm going to put the stickers. Typical, sunny all day, finish work, start installing that and it rains. No. So this is ready, gives a bit of colours, hides a little bit uh, the, uh, the polycarbonate sheet itself. And over there, I will prepare the door for me to have access to the um, to the shower. I'll do that when it's not raining. Bye for now. Again, a bit of deco at the back of the polycarbonated sheet. It looks quite cool. Right, well, the second um, tub is ready. So three coats again. Not perfect job, but as I said, I'm not very good at it. This one is going to be slightly different because the other one was holding some artificial plants. This one is going to hold um, real plants. And for that, I'm going to create a waterfall with that blade. done <laughs> it's like a letterbox now so now I'm just gonna feed the blade So the blade is now in position and I've glued here two fish or two plaques sorry should I say that were made by um, Koi Pond uh, plaques by Tomi. I got those on the marketplace uh, on Facebook. So you've got this one with the Tory gate and you've got this one with the mount I can't remember uh, the name of it. So I have now screwed the blade or into inside the uh, the planter and because of the gap that go that is it underneath the blade I'm gonna fill that up with Dutch and firm landscape so this is what you normally use uh, for a waterfall to bound the, uh, the rocks together and create and, and you know waterproof uh, fill the gaps between the rocks So this is um, four days later, um, I've been busy with other things so I couldn't carry on but um, there you go, so the foam is really hard now, I mean it's rock hard. Um, I'm just going to trim it here and put uh, then a seal of um, CT1. So I trimmed all the extra foam now and what I've done is I've added um, some CT1 all over, uh, really thick, thick, thick 
I'm gonna have to tidy it up. Really thick seal all over. I don't know if you can see there. Okay, so the water will never be able to go under the blade. So in normal times, when you feed a uh, when you feed sorry a uh, a blade like that, the attachment actually have to come in here. Those kind of blades are normally used for um, when you build your 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 own uh, backy shower. So you fit those fittings here normally fits at the front. The reason why I fitted it at the back is because I wanted the blade to be slightly. I don't know if yeah you can see it there. I didn't want the blade to be um, like straight like that. I wanted them. I wanted the blade to be slightly going down so the water will exit properly. So there you go. This is ready. Um, I've put some CT1 in the holes of the planter as well, so the water will never be able to go out. And now <clears throat> what I've got to do, sorry, what I've got to do is. Um, I'm going to put it over there in the uh, on the pond and um, figure out how I'm going to uh, do the pipe work now going from the, the moving bed to here. So the hole will be, I think, around here. I'm going to have a pipe coming here, okay, and loads of holes going down here and loads of holes going down here. This will fill up with water on each side and then the excess water and, and, and give some water to the plants and then the excess water will go rise go here and exit back into the pond Hi again not too sure what happened with that one but during the weekend it was fine and today is a proper autumn day back with my oh paint everywhere back with the jacket oh well so looks like I'm doing the polycarbonate sheet at the right time pond this morning was at 16 degrees and now it's 5 30 in the evening Monday and uh, Tuesday sorry and it's uh, 17 degrees so it gained a degree during the day but looks like he's definitely on his way down so what am i doing right now so i'm just preparing the sheet for the back of the backy shower so i already i had the sheet obviously cut from the other the other day um and i'm just putting some timbers um now to put to do the frame i've just cut them to size i don't know if you can see i hope you can see So what I'm using is those 30 mil uh, screws and those those discs. I don't know how you call them. Don't ask me. I don't know. I never know the names of anything. But there you go. So this allows to sit like that, and so the screw doesn't get through the uh, and it's raining. <laughs> it doesn't get through the polycarbonate sheet.
uh, I've got a tiny bit of space to show you but the polycarbonated sheet they finally put behind the shower so the only thing I could think of with what I've got obviously is to put some uh, fence bracket here and here and another one here on the top and one here on the side okay so when I need the shower I just basically pull that and then slide it back in when I'm finished and this is it this is my DIY <laughs> shower protection so that's what it looks like basically from the inside so you've got that panel there that'll be able to slide when I need the shower I think over in the summer because it's not like a proper you know uh, sliding door if it becomes too difficult I think for the summer I will remove that I was planning to keep that for the summer but take that off for the summer so the air can circulate properly within the pond and I think that might be quite a good idea to do that that's it for tonight and a little bit every day and uh, I should be ready for the autumn winter <laughs>